This is an authentic look at the real extraordinary people defining our North of Normal Metro. Discover the characters in the city of Frost and Fire. I'm Conrad Fargo, and this is the Fargo Five. We're here with Nate Wright, who is the ring announcer at Below Zero Wrestling. Hello, Nate. How you doing? So we're moving into our next segment, which is frequently asked questions. So Fargo, you know, Fargo is an interesting, we call it North and Normal. It's a strange city. Mm -hmm. People want to know what people in Fargo think. Okay. So I've got a list of the frequently asked questions, and then we can just kind of dive into there and uh, uh, see see what you think. So you had mentioned that you're a little bit of a nerd. So I think this is a frequently asked question that's going to be a great one for you. Ready. Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, or Marvel? Uh, I gotta pick one. Star yeah. Wars. It's wars. Still. Yes. Still. Still. Because I, I, I've heard that uh, people are disappointed with the direction that it has gone. You, you don't consider yourself was in that, that camp? Was that just, uh, what was it, Acolyte? The Acolyte, I've heard, is particularly bad. Uh, okay, I, that's I don't one know. show. I'll, uh, episode one was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Pod racing was awesome, but. The pod race Man, was pretty cool. Star Wars. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was the Clerics cartoon. Oh my goodness! Yes, oh, you and I did go I to the same high school. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> We're that, was, that was maybe their best episode. Um, <laughs> I just love how you picked up the oh, reference. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because like that just could have been my comment on the thing, but you were like, "Nope." Clerks nope. reference. Got it. They made. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's hot cold in here. So yeah. yeah. Keep making Star Wars references <laughs> to stay warm. Um, you are welcome. I love uh, it. I it's love it. you're gonna have a stinker every once in a while. You mm-hmm. can't consistently put out A plus material or n- a lot of I think science fiction. You can say the same thing with wrestling. Say it with with a lot of fandoms that sometimes the fans kind of ruin the product. Like I'm a big fan of Rick and Morty, uh-huh. and there are a lot of. Rick and Marty fans that are far too up their own butts. Well, I just think a lot of things have a hard time keep going, right? So yeah. Rick and Marty, again, the first few seasons, fantastic. The later seasons, in my estimation, maybe not so much. Yeah. I you know, it's hard it it's hard to keep something good. The boys. The first season, amazing. Subsequent seasons, maybe not so much. I mean I, I feel like uh I didn't it's, see it's, Game of Thrones, but apparently that would that's so like make three, me three so episodes, angry. And apparently, it just yeah, you your energy just switched hard. No, I mean I, I, I I'm not kidding. Thrones. Like I think about it, and I just get angry. <laughs> I I'm waiting for the AI overlords to come, take us out of this world, and create a special one for us where we just tell them what to do, and AI does everything. One of the first things I'm close. going to tell the robots to do is remake the last season of game of thrones (laughs) because it was just bad i mean it was bad it was bad it was i'm very upset as a guy that hasn't watched it i agree yeah no (laughs) i this is all here it's so bad that i wouldn't even recommend watching the other seasons because it's such it's it's build 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 and then they just they they cut it out. They cut the legs out from it. All of it. It's like this is coming. This thing's coming. This thing's coming. And then when it comes, they like, oh no, and then it dies, and then it dies, and then then and it's dead. How do you feel about The Simpsons? Um, well, I mean, the first you know five seasons are unbelievable. I watch them over and over with my children. Um, I because that after that, just, I mean, I, yeah. it didn't end. It's yeah, just no, it's still going. Right. Lost. I think the only one who's lost. been able to like keep up. And is now like a cultural fixture, and they're still great. Is South Park? I mean, they. Yes. Uh, I mean, they are constantly relevant, constantly pushing that envelope. They are cutting edge social commentary. Yeah. And when they even started doing like season long arcs, I was yeah. I was hesitant. Yeah. I'm like, oh, you guys are still very very good. <laughs> but no, uh, Star Wars. I'd say Andor. Andor was very good. I think that's the re- most recent one I watched, and I really enjoyed. Um, did you see Andor at all? I, I I can give that one a few episodes. Yeah, it was a little uh, wasn't as much action as I was anticipating. Oh, or, or at least the few episodes I saw. Okay, but it was still like, oh, this is a good television show. Yeah, no, I, Andor is good. I liked I liked Andor. Um, what's your favorite thing about Star Wars, though? I mean, why why Star Wars over all the others? I mean, why what is it about Star Wars you love? God, it just cemented into my head when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, that's a great question. It just, it just, it's got the nostalgia for you. 
Yeah, nostalgia is a hell of a drug. Yeah, it really and is. And it really is. It was just when it was made, the special effects and like the production quality was outstanding uh -huh. compared to stuff that like. Oh sure. I also could have watched when I was, you know, eight years old in 1991. Mm -hmm. And just basic, simple storytelling. Again, pro wrestling, good versus evil, blue lightsaber versus red lightsaber. And yeah, just well acted. It's it, it's Star Wars. It's it's like mashed potatoes for your soul. It just makes you happy. One last question, real quick. Um, if you could only send a three word message back in time to yourself when you were 18 years old so that's 22 years ago which that happens in uh, that's that happens in such a hurry doesn't it it does it's where you can just be like oh yeah that, you know last time i watched that was 25 years ago i was telling my daughter that this morning i was talking about something i had watched and i was like ah, i think i watched that when i was 13 so that was i had to do the math 25 years ago it mm. blows your mind it happens in a real hurry yes uh but three words send it back all you just they, they get screamed psychically into your 18 year old self a vision of three words oh i'm trying to beamed in no nope, the genie doesn't give you words. much more time than this the genie is right here um, you can say these three words or you get nothing kind to yourself kind to yourself not buy Bitcoin now? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I that did a long time fair. ago. Um, did you? Oh, congratulations. Thank I, you. Um, kind to yourself. You've been hard on yourself. Self, everyone is. Yeah. Everyone is often their own harshest critic, and then they just stay in their head about it. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. being in your head is mm -hmm. one of the most dangerous places to really? be, where yeah. you're just reliving something cringy. Like, yes. if you can acknowledge that, that means you've advanced past it. Yeah, yeah. If you're, if you're still a cringy person and, like, not... Like you don't have the self awareness that you did that stupid thing, that means you're you're still stuck in that mindset. You have not matured. Alan Watts says a person who thinks all the time has nothing to think about except thoughts. So he loses touch with reality and lives in a world of illusions. Yeah, I don't Do you I like don't, that? I don't want that. I yeah. no, it's a very, very good quote. But I, I love it. Yeah. So sometimes so. you can get too far in your head and yeah. I don't I don't know if I've met any philosophers, but they often sound like miserable dudes. <laughs> just very smart, but a yeah. lot of good, a, a lot of good words like the ones that you know, that are heavily studied and write tons of books. That just sounds oh, just being far, far, far too in, into your head, living in the moment and whatnot. So Go I'm going, I'm going to uh, not play one song, but rather another, and open with that uh, uh, Alan Watts quote, and then when we come back. Fargo favorites, so don't go nowhere. 